Hello guys, this video tutorial is brought to you by imagefxmedia.com um, What are we going to do today? Uh, I'm going to try to make a, what is called like a dramatic look uh, Like a grungy look So, uh, let me tell you, uh, let me see if I can do it through here There we go this is a picture that I took at the uh, Miami Zoo maybe about uh, two years ago. And I always say, you know what, I got to do something with it. And, well, I came up with this. And I kind of like it. Uh, it has this dramatic uh, look, kind of cringy. Uh, so uh, you use the uh, high pass filter. And I said, well, let me, let me see if I can, you know, come up with something. And I came up with this. I kind of like it. Uh, I've tried with other pictures, and sometimes it depends on the picture. So let me show you the original. This is the original. Uh, the first thing I did, I grabbed eyes from an, the same gorilla, but when I took the first picture or the second picture, yeah, this guy had his eyes closed, I guess. So this is the first thing I did, got the eyes. Then I had some uh, I saturated uh, more color to them. Then I make it black and white, everything but the eyes, of course. Then I added this uh, blending mode uh, using the color dodge. I made a copy of it, and I brought a little more of the highlights. Then the last thing I did was the actual um, uh, filter. And obviously I just added my my signature, and that was about it. So this is the final result. This is the final result. Actually, this is original, final result. So I'm going to try to come up with it. I'm going to try to make the same uh, step by step so you see what I what I did. And hopefully you can apply this to your own uh, pictures. So let's get started. Let's see. Okay, this is the uh, same gorilla, and those are his eyes. And this is the gorilla. Let me see. Yep, that's him. So the first thing I did, I grabbed his eyes. So let's grab his eyes here. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna uh, mask it out anyways. And we're gonna try to make it right here. Control T, Command T. Uh, oh, that's good. Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, letter Z, there we go. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit blurry. But it doesn't really matter. So here we're gonna ask, add a mask. Let's go with the brush tool. Let's make it a little bigger and let's just mask this out. There we go. Just the eyes. That's all we need for now. If we need to go back, uh, we'll just do it. That's why I always like rather do it on masking instead of uh, just erasing it with the erase tool. All right, so that's good. So let's see how it looks. I think it's a little bit too high, so let's just bring it a little bit down. That's good. So now we have what we want. Um, now we are going to make all this image black and white using gradient map. Um, come here to your channel, um, to your adjustment layers, and click where it says gradient map and change this to black and white obviously I'm sorry to black and make sure this is a hundred percent make sure I had I had it like this because I was working with something else so by default it should be black and white so we click OK and we click OK and obviously here we need to make um, the eyes we have to bring the eyes back so bring your brush tool let's make it a little smaller a little bit smaller, that's good, and just brush it away, very good, perfect, let's zoom out, now, since the eyes are kind of blurry, and I want to have the, uh, I guess the attention in the eyes, I'm going to make the eyes just a little bit, um, just the eyes, let me name this so we know what we are doing, eyes, uh, we're going to make them a little bit uh, more um, a little bit saturated, actually. So hold your Option or your Alt on your PC or Mac. And 
think let's come here to hue saturation make sure you have this checkbox checked uh, and so whatever we're gonna do is gonna have it only to this particular layer you're gonna see this little uh, arrow right here all right so we're gonna add some of the saturation there you go that's good uh, you can change the hue any color you want but uh, you kind of like a red better so we're gonna keep it like this we click OK all right so now we are I think I'm halfway finished now let's click on the gradient map and we're gonna add a layer and then I found you can pick any color obviously it depends on the picture I found this kind of black reddish uh, color gray I guess and uh, you can come here and where's my paint bucket and obviously it's gonna make it all this layer so let's call this uh, let's just color dodge so we know what we're doing and here we're gonna make it uh, on the blending mode we're gonna make it color dodge and let's see what the difference it kind of brings out uh, the uh, highlights right so what I did obviously I make a copy of it you can do command J or control J or you can bring it here and it, it brings brings it more but I didn't like it that much so I'm just gonna drop some of the opacity there we go see 50% it looks good so now we are almost almost there uh, on the background we're gonna make a copy of it you can do command J or you can bring it here bring it all the way down here so make it command J and this one is the one we're going to call it the high pass filter. First thing, computer filter in your high pass is going to be an other. So this is a high pass. Uh, what high pass does is very simple. It, it brings contrast to the image. If you make the radio zero, it's going to be obviously no contrast whatsoever and if you make it all the way here the contrast is up so much that you can really tell the difference so I'm gonna make it somewhere uh, somewhere in the middle so you can see the difference you see the the, uh, the hands uh, and the hair maybe a little bit more not that much. there we go you can see the difference so click OK and here on the blending mode there are two uh, you can do overlay but I like hard light uh, because it brings up a little more of the uh, actual image. So it's a little bit more um, uh, you can't really tell. So let's just zoom in because right now we have it at 20%. Let's zoom. Oops, sorry. What did I do here? Where's my Z? Here we go. Let's zoom in at 100%. So this is what it's going to uh, kind of look like. At 100%, you can see the eyes. It's still a little blurry, but you can really tell uh, the hair. This is without it, right? And this is with with it. All right. So, and I mean, if, if it's too much for you, you can uh, just drop it a little bit. But I kind of like it the way it is, and obviously, you just have to add your your signature, and um, that's it. Uh, well, I hope you guys. Uh, up with something better than mine. Thanks.